I go on Twitter and I see Mr. Corey Graves tweet something stupid in response to CM Punk losing his second fight in UFC. This is what he says. Maybe abandoning everybody who stood by your side. Even when we weren't supposed to, only to have you turn your back on us wasn't the right move after all. No anger, only sadness. That's the first tweet. Here's tweet number two. Aw, seems the fans, as in we're not fans because we disagree with him, but seems the fans are disappointed. Maybe you guys should know that that dude held my first son before I did because I was on tour and I trusted him. I had dinner with him the week after he quit. So, just to make this clear to you, these guys are supposed to be friends. CM Punk held his son. He held his first son before he did. And he's talking trash about him. Talking trash about him on social media. What, what, what kind of friend? We'll get to that in just a second. Tweet number three. The first rule of punk rock is loyalty. And this guy betrayed it all. Because he left WWE. He's a traitor now. Oh my goodness. I still love you, friend. I'm sorry you got lost. You know, I... I was speculating before I read all of this that someone else hacked his Twitter and said things things uh, without him knowing about it because this is such this is such a 180 from the guy I thought Corey Groves was but final tweet don't worry hey Vince McMahon this has nothing to do with you you either Triple H this isn't corporate this is real life calm down inner nerds and scene where do I start with this? Let, let's just start off with this idea that CM Punk abandoned the wrestling business. First off, he left the business because he felt with all the love, the blood, sweat, and tears he gave to it, it wasn't giving it back to him. So he decided to take a break. He's not the only person to do that, but why is he being criticized for it? The only, the only time Punk criticized wrestling was during that podcast with Cole Cabana when he was talking about all the crappy stuff WWE did to him, like firing him on his wedding day, one, and also the fact that they never really wanted him. Reality is that WWE never loved CM Punk, never loved him, never wanted him. Until they were forced to keep him around because of his pipe bomb. 2011. One of the greatest promos of all time. Then they couldn't get rid of him. Now they loved him all of a sudden. And then he decided, you know what? I'm sick and tired of you using me and not giving me the respect that I feel I deserve. So I'm leaving you. So now he's a traitor because of that, right? So he didn't abandon anything. He showed self-care. And decided to leave a business that wasn't treating him right. And then this second tweet is what really, really ticked me off. CM Punk apparently was there for his firstborn. He held him before he did. So these guys had to have been close. And this is how you treat your friends, Corey Graves? See, to me, if anyone is willing to put their... Best friend on blast on social media, not go to them in person, not tweet them or call them to express how they feel. Corey Gray's feeling this way is one thing. It's one thing to feel like I don't think you should talk bad about the wrestling business or the company I'm working with. Okay, don't put it on social media like this. You put it on a social media platform for the whole world to see. You put your best 
friend. This isn't just a friend. If he held your firstborn, he's more than just a friend. He's one of your best friends. But you put him on blast on social media. Who would want to be your damn friend? What kind of friends like you? What kind of friends do you have? That, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's how you treat your friends? Get the hell out of here. The first rule of punk rock is loyalty. Okay, let's just get this out of the way. You do not have to be a part of WWE to love the business. And this this usage of quotations, fans, loyalty. What? So, because we don't agree with you, we're not fans? Is that what it is? Are we that petty? Is WWE that petty? Oh, we don't agree uh, with, uh, with what the fans think, so they're not fans. So we don't like something, and now we're not fans? No. We just don't like that. That doesn't mean we don't like wrestling. Oh, we don't like Roman Reigns. We're not wrestling fans. What? Who are you? Again, this is coming from Corey Graves, the same guy I thought thought like me. I guess I was wrong, but this last one just took the cake. Don't worry, Vince. Don't worry, Triple H. This isn't corporate. This is real life. This is the very definition of corporate, Corey. So what, we're supposed to just feel sorry for you? That you can just say whatever the hell you want? Because what? I don't know. You got a solid-paying job on Raw? The company's getting ready to make $2.35 billion, so you feel like you can say whatever the hell you want and have no repercussions for what you say? Get the hell out of here. Let's get something straight. You are a wrestler too, Corey. Yeah, you got injured. You got a career-threatening injury, which puts you on commentary. And I would think someone like you would be more sympathetic to CM Punk's uh, grievances with the business because you used to be inside the ring. And you act like you never were a wrestler. But because, because what? He decided to leave WWE? Now he's a traitor? So is Cody a traitor? Is Dwayne Johnson a traitor? John Cena's not doing WWE full-time. Is he a traitor? When Brock Lesnar leaves, is he going to be a traitor? Is John Morrison a traitor? Is anybody that leaves or has been future endeavored by WWE not worthy of being your friend? Or is considered, is considered a traitor? It's stupid corporate logic. And if this is the logic from WWE that is prevalent for not just Corey, but everybody, y'all can all kiss my behind. Because this is wrong. Someone like this should be punished for what he's saying. This makes WWE look bad. I can't believe that a guy like that was a... First off, is anywhere close to being a friend of CM Punk. But someone like that is on TV. Why would you do that? Like, who does this? This is so petty. He left you. Get over it. And he's proven he doesn't need you. So... Maybe that pisses them off. Maybe they hate CM Punk because CM Punk has shown WWE he doesn't need them. Nor does he want them. So, hey, he's a traitor. That's so stupid. And honestly, it makes me, it makes me wonder why anybody wants to work there. Once again, we have another example of someone shoving their foot in their mouth that works for WWE and it makes you wonder why does anybody want to work there? These corporate shields need to shut the hell up. And Corey Graves needs to get off social social media. Because, listen, you can have your opinion, but if you're going to put this on social media, I have an opinion of your opinion and I have that right. And my opinion of your opinion is that you're stupid. And you're... And honestly... You're a douchebag, dude. You are a horrible human being if this is how you treat your friends. All the respect I have for you. I thought, look, Corey Graves might be a good commentator, and I'm not taking that away from him. But that doesn't mean I have to like the guy. All the respect I have in the world for him is gone. Okay, I was very tolerant of his horrible banters with Cole and Saxton or Cole and Coachman and all that. I was cool with that. Then I hear this. And if you if you say this is a work, um no, it's No. No, this is not cool. At all. 
This is this is ridiculous. How how dare you? Like, and the worst part about this is that he's doing this when CM Punk lost. He's kicking CM Punk while he's down in the hospital. So now you're a coward. On top of being a bad friend. And being a corporate shield. This guy is... Ugh. I'm done with Corey Graves. I'm done with Corey Graves. And it's not because he did this to Punk. He could have done this to anybody. It could have been anybody. But especially since it's CM Punk is that much worse. So, give me your thoughts about this. How do you feel about this? Do you care? If you don't, whatever. I'm done with Corey. Respect gone. Done. Out the window. What's wrong with him? Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. I'm out.